hi 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 friends welcome to african queen my name is joy fido and i've got something really exciting for you so today in this video i'm going to show you how you can dress as an Igbo in an Igbo fashion basically let's put it that way so Igbo wedding fashion but of course I'm going to show you how I coordinate my colors and how I put it all together so welcome on board so what this is what we do in the eastern part of Nigeria is we dress completely differently from the western part of Nigeria which is the Yoruba fashion so you can see what I'm looking like right now don't I look amazing I know I look amazing look at this top you can see all the bits just going on and on and on and look at the whole of my from the front of my blouse it's all heavily beaded and this particular George because what we tend to wear we call it George this particular George is made of pure stones everything here is stone based now you will have the fake ones and you have the heavily pure beaded stones they mostly come from India that's where the Igbo fashion comes from or Delta State or River State or uh, Cross River State all of that eastern part of Nigeria this is how we dress when we have that special location look at it you put on your jewelry so what I'm wearing right now is Cora beads on my neck and the earrings as well and then you put on your beaded again it depends on your pocket if you can afford it heavily beaded like the ones I've got on why not but if you cannot afford them like real stones are this one there are so many different types but the main idea is called George so I'm going to show you how you can tie your George when you're going out to that special occasion and then you are going to be looking as stunning as you can imagine but of course don't forget your hair tie which I have put in place um, one of the things we do in the east because I am actually from the east I'm from River State is you can tie your hair tie whichever way you like we're not fussy about hair tie one of the biggest things I learned living in the west because I lived in Lagos State for a long time is knowing how the you know Yorubas love their hair tie and when I go to the east and I see our own people, they're not fussing about the head tie. They could just pull it on anyhow and just get it over and done with. But the main focus is always the judge. How does that judge fit into the fashion? So that's what I've got on today. I mean, this was so beautifully done. Beautifully done. I am so in love with this outfit. Because what happens, this particular type of judge. I mean, if you really look at it, I'm going to pull it up so you can see. Look at all the beads. This bead just goes round and round and round. I mean, anyone seeing you with this will just know that it's a million dollar kind of outfit. Look at that. So what you're going to find, which I'll show you as we go along this, it's usually two wrappers. And I know with the African Queen, I haven't really done much of the Eastern fashion. Always, I show you the Western fashion, the Rambuba, the Rambuba, which is again one of my favorite things. But when you see things like this and you know you can rock it, why not? I am so in love with all of this. I can't, I can't stop to talk about it. But one of the things with it is it is so heavy because of the volume of the beads in this outfit so the two wrappers what they do is there's the bottom wrapper so this is this one this is the bottom wrapper and so what they do is they don't put too much beads on just the basic part of it so you can see how this is so sparsely done this part is just one one strand 
stones here and there and then you're gonna see what happens with the circle wrapper but in the meantime let me show you how this is done okay so the first thing you do is get your bottom wrapper ready now before I did that I put my shoes on So you remember I said I'm going to show you how I coordinate my outfit. So what I've done is I've looked at the stones in this wrapper and I've decided to go with silver because there's a lot of silver in the stones. So my silver shoe is what I'm wearing to go with the silver in the outfit. Now someone who's very into color may have said let me just put on blue shoes. But you know the thing with blue is you have to get the exact shade of that blue and so it just goes on and on. So in order to break that sequence of color, you just go for something that's in there. There are hints of red somewhere here as well. You could have said, let me pick up the red. But I can see a lot of silver, so I'm going for the silver. You could also have picked up the gold. There's also bits of gold in there. So you put your shoes on and then you start to tie your wrapper. Now normally when you're tying wrapper, what you want to do is make sure your leg is wide apart. So what I'm wearing is a short it's up to you how you what you want to wear underneath this what we call the underwear but it depends on you because sometimes when you wear underwear it might when you're walking for friction sake as you're walking it might just be going in between your legs so that's why i'd rather put on shorts so your leg is wide apart and then you get your what you do with the wrapper now is you fold it a bit See that? Fold it. Don't just go like that. And don't go like that. Because if you go like this, what will happen when you try to walk, it will block you from walking. So you don't just go straight on. You slant it. And that's why I fold it here. And so once it's slanted, in between, then you go across. The other way. And so the inner one has to be pulled up. So what some people tend to do is they like to make sure it's really at the bottom of their leg. It's up to you. But I wouldn't recommend you tie the top, the blouse, in to the under, under wrapper. So the top... Your, your blast goes up and your under wrapper is underneath it. And once you've got that, now your leg comes together. See that? And then it looks the same. What that means is now you can walk. You're free to walk. See that? Because if you didn't do that, what I've just shown you, what will happen is when you try to walk, and this happens a lot with young girls who are not used to tying Eastern wrapper. When you try to walk, your leg will be stuck together and you can't move. So by lifting one side up and tying and then crossing it over, you see, you still get your same length, but now you can walk. So, remember I slanted, I held one side, I held it in and held the other. Now you can actually knot it. And once you've knotted it, you can actually see this flap. If it's just at the back, 
it should be in between so you twist it around a bit and that's it and that's your wrapper all done you're ready for the night now your top goes over it look at how beautiful that is okay so let's say you have no idea how to get that to now sit firmly in place we have what they call the extra rope and that's what i have this for so normally again in eastern rapper they will make you this you can ask your tailor can you make me something for my wrapper and so let's say you couldn't tie it some wrappers are like that they are not long enough you take that and you tie it in place you go like that and you really really hold it in place so now it's nicely in place and you drop so now as you're out there dancing and doing whatever you have to do you do not have to worry about your wrapper dropping off your waist but in this case i don't need this because i've nicely knotted it in place do you see how beautiful this is i mean as the day gets along or rather as the evening gets along when you're at this party you may find that you don't really need it top wrapper in this case with the way this is you are so fully ready to even be like this throughout the evening because it's so beautifully put together all of that top design is matching with that bottom design so you don't need any extra to look a million dollars like you would look but of course that's not where we're gonna end this so now this is the top part of the wrapper look at that see how heavily beaded all this is i mean seriously those of us in the eastern part of nigeria we really know how to do culture look at that so this is where all the weight is remember this is the inner wear or inner wrapper and this is the outer wrapper so they put all of that design in place so now remember we tied the first one now we're going to tie the top one so what you then do with the top one watch my hand so this is the full length of it. You start taking it up. You're folding it up and folding it up and folding it up. When you tie it, what you don't want to happen is that bottom one, or rather the top one is over the bottom one. You want to tie it such that there's a gap. There's a gap. So you really fold it up. Again, legs still apart. So you see that this one is like a half of it. So it's like it's like you say one and a half. But of course the manufacturers of this don't understand how the culture is done. So what they do is they still give you two full length fabrics. Only difference is they know that this one is gonna be underneath, so they haven't put so much work here, only at the bottom of it, and now they put all the work on the top one. So when you're doing it, you kind of like, you don't want this to hang out too much. And you also don't want the inner part of it to show. You want them to see all that work that's in the fabric. So as usual, you want to make sure, again, not too much goes in. Because when you wrap it, you want quite a lot to hang out. And so put that in place and after you put tape this then this is where lots of people get confused you put that and you fold it over 
so that pushes in and this goes over it and when you've done that you kind of like press it in and in and in and that's it so you could lift it but can you see how the whole design is just going all the way down from down there all the way down and of course with this particular blouse it comes from top there there's that little gap in the blouse and then it goes all the way down now that's what they call bling bling so this is our idea of bling bling so what I'm gonna do now then put the remaining of my jewelry on mm, some rings I already got some bangles to go with it you see this is so beautifully done it has all this design showing my hands because of that's how the fabric the good thing with this is they they come with a piece for the top and to get a designer to get this right is one of the hardest things ever one of the hardest things ever but of course this is where we as african queen are going to be guiding you that's our dream that's our plan that's what our, our business is to guide you to look your best in your traditional outfit so i got designer i mean i designing but i got tailors who will get this exactly how you want it because um we had this wedding in the family and i remember how much and how long it took me and my sister to find someone to get this right for her but because obviously we're here in the west which is hard work but of course i take mine to africa to get it done and so I took my time and I designed this but the good thing with when these fabrics come is all of this design were all in one spot and for the tailor to now know where to put that where to put that how to do this all of those are your creativity so if you were to give me this to make for you I'll work with you to see how you want to see yours come out and then we'll make it happen of course, this is how I wanted to see this come out. So look at that. And that's it. So I'm gonna put on my jewelry and then you probably see some clips of pictures in the video. Okay, so you can see I've got some rings on. Now that would have been me wearing as many rings as i feel like on the night i got my bangle all silver i got my watch silver gold so it's all put together and then obviously my cora beads again jewelry you can change change mix and match to suit you i have red cora beads blue cora beads you just name it i love cora beads so all of that is going well with my complete outfit and um you're ready for the night you're ready for the party if you were the bride you are standing out of the crowd you are different so these are all things for mostly weddings and you know birthdays and anniversaries and whatever this great occasion is you stand out of the crowd and that's what african queen is all about we just we we enjoy glamorizing african fashion for us it's just the way it is it's just just so natural just so natural in us to just look the part with african fashion so i'm going to finish this particular one here and um thank you so much for watching and please share this video with your friends 
because I know lots of people are struggling with culture they don't know how to put it together um, I know when we we're trying to organize my niece's wedding uh, how much my sister had to search and search and search to come up with the theme and what you find is um, mostly we, we come up with themes as in this could have been a blue theme we could have blue theme, we have green theme, we have yellow theme, we have whatever theme, red theme. So I'll be I'll be showcasing different themes. That's what you're gonna be seeing, different themes. And it'll be down to you what theme you think you wanna go for for your wedding or for your wedding guest or for mother of the bride. You know, there are all sorts of choices. So share this. Share it with your friends because it will really help people. It's just I'm just one of um of the old block who just want to guide as much as I can so remember to give us a thumbs up if you like it we want you to like it look at that it's dropping off and that's what you're gonna get but then it's all part of the glamour we love to just let it drop off and then you take your time and you just lift it up and you push it back in again and this is just the typical traditional way of tiny but what i find young girls tend to do these days is they just lift it together and they just put it through each other like that's that and then they just go like that i mean that just came to me now as i'm shooting the video not because i planned on doing that because I know you probably say, oh my gosh, especially younger ones, because I got young kids. And I know it's hard work for you guys to blend in with what God just says. So you just pull the two sides and tie. And that's it. Look at how glamorous that is. So whatever, whatever way you can handle it, do it. Never forget your culture, please. Whatever you do, don't forget your culture. Because if people without culture don't exist, look at that. So whichever way you think is okay, go with it. So like I was saying, share with your friends. Give us a thumbs up. And remember to be part of us. Be part of us because when you do that, you get to know whatever we're doing. How do you do that? You subscribe. And please give us your, you know, your views or you think about us. We'd like to hear from you. Because the more we interact with you, the more we connect with you, the more we bring more things that you really want to see. So, thank you so much and God bless you.